Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is going to be the drill press table that I need to make for my new drill. As I showed you in the last video, it was too tall for it to sit here on the bench, so we're going to make a movable base for it. Now I had an idea about what I wanted to make on this one, um, so I did a couple of plans in SketchUp and I scoured the internet for other ideas of what other guys were making out there. Came across a video uh, from Brad Rodriguez from Fix This Build That, um, who had a great little um, plan. So my design is based around his ideas. Now I have reached out to Brad to make sure that it was okay for him for me to build uh, my video based around his and he's got no problem with that so big thumbs up to Brad thanks very much for that one mate appreciate it um, I'm gonna leave a link to Brad's video in the description down below and um, give it a check out check out his channel he makes some amazing stuff um, always worth a good watch anyway guys I hope you enjoyed my build uh, and I will see you guys at the end
because I sense that you guys might be fans. You might be fans. And Allison, it's really to hear Brian Dee on the radio this morning. He's playing the Haven Hotel in Dunmore East on Easter Sunday. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, quick note about design change. Halfway through the project, I changed the design on this. I originally had it with three drawers, but when I built the cabinet at first, I hadn't got the drawers on. The reason I didn't build the drawers is I hadn't actually got hold of the drawer slides yet, so I didn't know the width of my drawer. I had an idea, but not the final. So while I was waiting for the drawer slides to arrive, um, my partner Liddy said that maybe it would be an idea just to have one drawer and then have a, a cupboard at the bottom that I could put my sharpening station in, which was taking up quite a lot of room on my bench. I thought that was a great idea, so that's what we did. We changed the plan, we put a door on, and that sharpening station now lives in there. It's nice and secure, it's not going anywhere, thanks to these bolts from the, from the casters. Um, Notes about the casters, they were expensive, or well, fairly expensive, €25.99 Euros from Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description down below where I got those from, but worth every penny. Absolutely rock solid, really heavy duty, nice brakes on them, and they roll around on my uneven floor very, very well. Uh, I don't have to fight with it like some cheap and nasty ones that I've had in the past, and that's going to really help me in this project. Now this drill press will live here in the corner which means I need to find a home for the router table. So the next project I'm going to do is I'm going to build another workbench. And that bench is going to live here, but at one end of the workbench, I'm going to drop the router table in. So I'm going to increase my working space. I'll still have the outfeed, but I'll also have the router table in situ on that bench. So that's going to be the next video. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Um, what's I going to say next? I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. It's uh, it's gone exactly how I I imagined it would do. No, it didn't. I invented it with three drawers, didn't I? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave a comment in the link down below. No, there's no link. Why is this so hard? Um, and share this video with your friends, I'd really appreciate it, that will... 
what am I doing? Shocking. <laughs>